Hi, welcome to Sanes Academy's videos. In this video, you are going to learn the concept of bootstrapping with a very simple example. Bootstrapping is a method that relies on random sampling with replacement. So here you draw a random sample with replacement of the same size. Let's see the illustration of it. This drawing of random sample of same size is called resampling. So here what we see is we have one, we have one vector which we consider as sample. So we have some 10 elements in the vector. We draw a sample with replacement of the same size from that vector. So here, what we see in our function, we have here given replace equal to true. Hence, we have one sample with replacement of the same size. We have another sample with replacement of same size. So likewise, what we have are the five resamples of the same size. Let's see in the actual program, what is the case? So when we have a vector and if we find arithmetic mean of the vector and you go by a traditional way that uh, assuming the T distribution, well, assuming normal distribution assumptions, I make use of T dot test function and I get confidence interval for this particular vector. So 95% confidence interval given for this particular vector is 28.909711 and 67.702891. Here, we have found the confidence interval by traditional way. Okay, let's see now how to find confidence interval by a bootstrap method. Now, first thing what we are going to do in our bootstrap is we are going to obtain the resamples. The way we obtained resamples in the earlier example, we are going to obtain resamples, 1000 resamples. For that, we have an array of 1000 by 10. So, here now we are obtaining some 1000. So, every iteration is performing, performing a sample with replacement. So, we are running this 1000 times. So ultimately, in our array, double dimensional array AZ samples, what we are going to have are basically 1000, 1000 resamples. Okay. So each you see each resample you see in a row. Okay. Now with this 1000 resamples, what we are doing is we are finding the arithmetic means of each and every resample if we find arithmetic mean so we find row means of each and every sample now over here for finding row means we can give apply function one comma mean which will have row means now this re means vector which has been created has 1000 means mean of each and every row what we have in the array now with this we do one processing that with re means we find a uh, 2.5 quartile, we find 5th percentile and 97.5th percentile. So we have a percentile. With these two percentiles, basically we obtain the confidence limits now with the help of the bootstrap method. So what we have done over here is we first of all resampled. We resampled some thousand number of times. Among the thousand resamples, we calculated the mean. After calculated the mean, we took 2.5 percentile and 97.5 percentile. So basically, what we gained from it is basically we found the uh, the middle 95 percent. Now 2.5 percentile. Actually, what we are doing is we are leaving 2.5% from the left and with 97.5 percentile, actually we are leaving 2.5% from the right. That means in all, what we are doing is we are leaving 5% and we are 
taking 95% at in the middle and hence we have a confidence interval as 32.1975 and 62.60925 by bootstrap method hence summing up what we what we need to do is that we first of all draw a random sample uh, resample from the sample for the resample we compute mean we repeat steps 1 and 2 for some 1000 repetitions iterations then we have some 1000 means with 1000 means we take 2.5 percentile as the lower confidence limit and 97.5 percentile as upper confidence limit and hence we have confidence interval by bootstrap method that's it for bootstrapping by simple example for if you want to watch more videos you can watch we can you can continue to subscribe my channel of sane academy for more information on courses from sane academy you can email me with this contact contact information for more information you can visit the website saneacademy.com thank you